As part of our Genki Aging series funded by the JA Community Foundation, our goal is to empower the fastest growing segments of the Japanese American community, its seniors. We hope to accomplish this by bringing awareness to our community of local senior services. We visited with UI Kai, based in the heart of San Jose's Japantown, where it serves great needs to Japanese American seniors in the greater Silicon Valley area. We sat down with Jennifer Masuda, Executive Director of UI Kai, to talk about their services. We were formed by San Jose State students uh, back in 1974, and we have just celebrated our 48th anniversary uh, this past February. The San Jose State students um, found that the ESAs were not receiving um, services and act uh, like activities, um, lunch programs, because they were for all English speaking uh, participants, but no Japanese services. UIKai offers social services to provide connection to senior services that seniors need like caregivers, shelter, and food. UIKai also provides in-house services. We also have a senior daycare, um, and that is actually an adult daycare. The participant or client can actually come to us from 10 o'clock to about 2.30, and um, that we feed them lunch as well on site but we provide them mental and physical stimulation. Um, they also get socializing. Uh, so that uh, provides respite for caregivers, really. Um, and if you think about during this pandemic, a caregiver had to care for someone 24 seven. There was no break for them. It's actually our senior day service program um, was what brought me to UIKai because uh, I cared for my grandmother. Um, but it is, it is a excellent program. Not only does UIKai provide services to seniors, but also to their caregivers as well. So um, UIKai also offers a caregiver support group and um, that actually provides a respite also for the caregiver. Um, but it also provides a, a group of other people uh, that have similar experiences. Um, they can share information with one another. Um, they can vent to one another, um, but it's also a way to learn. UIKai, like many senior support organizations, provide lunch programs for seniors. Pre-pandemic uh, congregate site and then also deliveries. Um, and we do about an average like anywhere between like 120 to 140 per day. Um, and since the pandemic, uh, we just do this drive-through operation, um, and it's been a couple of years since we've been doing that. Providing healthy aging is another aspect that UIKai provides. So UIKai offers uh, various wellness programs at different levels. So for like uh, the very vulnerable, we have wellness checks and that's actually performed by our uh, social service department where they actually visit um, their clients at their homes, um, check in and see how they're doing. Um, and also they get their vitals at that time and also mon help monitor their medications. Um, but we also do in-house screening. Um, that's our wellness program as well. We have hearing tests, uh, regular blood pressure checks. Um, we also do a wellness program in terms of education. It's called Kenko Living Series. Um, and for an example, we're having one tomorrow, May 4th, um, and that is covering uh, senior scams. And uh, our speaker is the SF Senior Attorney General Inspector. Um, and he's actually going to be covering real cases, of course, with the names changed. Uh, with the seniors. Um, so they're very aware um, about the, the scams that are happening at the moment. Um, and that actually helps them with their health, and but also provides a great deal of information for them to keep them safe. And uh, we also provide a lot of activities uh, for the seniors, and that could be a cultural type of programming, uh, trips, uh, exercise programs, um, arts and crafts and more. For our most popular classes, I would say it's posture fit, 
and that's very much focused on strengthening your core. Um, enhanced fitness is a very popular class. When it is live, um, pre-pandemic, we used to have about 23 to 24 clients actually, uh, or participants taking the, the class. I'd heard about a lot of these classes, you know, from um, seniors who are taking them and, you know, into the 80s and 90s and it was and they were in fantastic shape and I wanted to make sure that you know I paved the way and I started um, my retirement uh, getting myself back into shape and uh, hoping that I can continue to do this for the 25 years I've seen some of the other seniors uh, doing these classes. A very popular class is introduction to iPad and actually it has there has it has split off split off because uh, uh, people have progressed in their uh, level of uh, technology knowledge and so we have a beginning class that happens on Monday mornings um, and then there is also uh, like an intermediate slash advanced class that happens Monday and Wednesdays. The pandemic tested the resilience of UIKai and like many social services they had to quickly reinvent. Uh, for UIKai, the pandemic um, really threw a curveball uh, for us. I'm sure that was the case for pretty much anyone in business. Um, but you know, you need to adapt and you need to find a way to service your clients. Uh, during the pandemic, uh, many of our activities went virtual uh, via Zoom, like our iPad class, yoga classes, and, and such activities. The silver lining to the pandemic has been uh, fundraising and donations. Just so grateful, so grateful to everybody's help. Uh, we, we couldn't have made it through this without, without everybody's help. As we get more deeply immersed in technology, Jennifer reminds us of some of the challenges that seniors faced during the pandemic. And she encourages new product developers to keep seniors in mind. Technology for sure is uh, very important for seniors. I, I think um, we got a glimpse of that during the pandemic um, when people had to sign up for vaccines via a website. It sounds great and easy for many of us, but that created a lot of challenges for many, many seniors and left them kind of in a lurch. So, um, and you know, uh, our social service department had to kind of pick up the pieces there and help connect these seniors. I think that's very important for the future for our youth is when creating things to remember um, how it's going to affect um, seniors uh, and also the equity piece. Not everybody has access to technology. Uh, for UIKai specifically and I think maybe other Asian American type of um, organizations, the challenge will be uh, membership. Um, as the, you know, Issei's, uh, many, very few left. Um, we have the Nisei, and more importantly, Sansei. People are saying, oh, it's the silver wave, you know, and there's this great opportunity. And I think there is great opportunity in that. However, you know, the, the senior of today is not the senior that I remember, like my grandparents. Um, they're much more active. Um, so it's about keeping up with the, with the changing times, um, providing services that would be interesting to them, which, you know, it, that is different than what we are uh, currently offering, some of our offerings, I think. You know, I think they want something um, more special, things that, um, uh, that serve their interests at the moment. Um, I, you know, everyone's going to be English speaking, majority of them. Um, you know, but our demographic of the community is changing as well. So, you know, it's about for us to, you know, we're looking at being more inclusive. Um, however, our strength will be um, sticking to our roots, um, meaning our heritage, in continuing to offer Japanese cultural type of activities like Ikebana, Shinbuyo, kimono dressing and such. UI Kai means a place for friendship and love, and this place embodies those traits. This is Greg Valoria for the Genki Aging Series and Nichibei Cafe.